Now, hello again, everybody. Welcome back to Fujit Blitz with me, Fujit. Hello. So today I want a look at the Sphere. This is the tier seven tank that you get in the event. Basically, you get to the end of the event after you click through all your little Christmas light bulbs, and you can either get a snow globe or you can get this. Well, actually, you can get both, but they're going to cost different things. But is this tank worth getting? Well, you know what? I think it is. I actually like this tank. I, I think this tank is pretty, pretty funky. Um, it, it's basically a free tank. All you've got to do is play the game and get those light bulbs. And if you do, then you're going to get this tier 7 medium tank. But what characteristics does this tank have? Well, it's a mixed bag, really. Few people ask me, is it broken, is it OP, or is it meh? And it's none of the above. It's actually rather well balanced. It's got an interesting gun, which we'll get to. It's got pretty decent mobility. It's got a, a, a lovely profile. I mean, it's, it's basically, it's a Leo, let's, let's be honest. But it's not the Leo in the tech tree that you get, which is the Swedish tank. I find that I find this one slightly better than the Leo. I find the Leo a little bit clunky compared to this tank. But as I said, there are pros and cons. I mean, it's not like the tank is totally better than the Leo. For one, the the gun, whilst it's pretty accurate when it wants to be, and it dishes out decent damage. I mean, it is quite a lengthy load time for a tier 7 but more importantly is the aim time the aim time is a bit of a problem child because if you try and fire this tank on the move then it's more luck than judgment i mean the shots can go anywhere you've really got to wait for that reticle to come down before anything tangible actually happens you're more likely to be seeing your shots venture off into the middle of no man's land, which nobody wants. Thing is, I mean, armor-wise, you'll get a few troll bounces from it. I, I was quite impressed with that. And you'll see what I mean by the gun in a moment. I mean, generally it doesn't suffer from its penetration, but sometimes it does. But if you don't wait for that reticle, shots like that will happen, and all you're doing is firing your ammunition into the ground. Thing is, it's free nowadays, so firing your ammunition into the ground is no big deal anymore. Although you are going to lose. As I said, penetration-wise, I mean, you're going to put lovely shots into the side of a tier 8 louver like that. And it's, it's very nice, but again, you've got to look at that reticle. And you can see there, I've got those troll bounces against the Annihilator. Personally, I like this tank. I think it's pretty, pretty funky. As I said, it's not OP. It's not broken. And it's not meh. It's got beautiful gun depression, to be honest with you. And once you get used to this unique gun handling, it's absolutely lovely to drive. I mean, I, I had great fun last night in it. Um, I was just tuning with Loro Y um, from, from, my, from the Vale Clan. And we were having a good time. Uh, you know, we had some good games. We had some indifferent games. Uh, this was an interesting game. I jumped on... Uh, the, the guy from Jones is there because he needed to be jumped. I think it was Ghosty. Um, and that was a game after I'd sort of pushed Loro off a cliff uh, in a previous game. I mean, it, it's a fun tank. I enjoyed it. As I said, the mobility is nice. And once you get used to that reticle and the gun handling, it's absolutely beautiful to play. Okay, it's gonna look, I mean, look at that. I mean, you know, once you get used to it. It is, for all intents and purposes, a free tank. All you've got to do is collect the light bulbs. Now, yeah, okay, I know that means you've got to collect a lot of light bulbs, etc., etc. But the more intrepid people out there are going to be gambling away on those boxes, maybe the gold ones for 1500 to try and get snow globes and stuff. And you're going to get light bulbs from there as well. The event isn't over anytime soon, so you've still got a bit of time. And if you can get your hands on this thing, you are going to have fun in it, assuming you like going out in Tier 7, that is. Um, obviously, at Tier 7, you've got the Smashers and the Annihilators and stuff like that. Uh, I, I faced a fair few Smashers and Annihilators in this thing, and, you know, it, it wasn't that traumatic, if I'm being honest. As I said, the gun itself, another troll bounce, 
the gun itself, once you get used to the uh, reticle, is pretty decent. You know, you can live with the load time and the penetration is quite nice. And it's dishing out decent-ish damage. I mean, you're getting up to 300 IN alpha, which is very nice indeed for a tank of this caliber. It's a beautiful little tier 7 medium. I like it. And I like it more than the tank I've just destroyed, which is the Leo. The same tank in this tier. As I said, I mean, is it a tank I'm going to play a lot? I had fun in it last night. Will I play it a lot? The chances are I play it a lot more than I play the Leo uh, is the honest answer. Because this one, I just think, feels better. It feels much better, actually. It's more user-friendly. And the, the, its flaws, you can live with. You can live with that reticle being weird. You can live with that long load time because the pros really do outweigh the cons on this tank. And for what, for all intensive purposes, as I said, is a freebie, you're getting a pretty decent tank for just playing the game. And there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, okay, I haven't set the world on fire in any of the games that I'm showing you. I mean, this one we end up doing just over 3,000 damage. That's only enough for a second class. But look at the mobility of this thing. I mean, you can get around the battlefield nicely. And if you're close enough, you don't need to worry about the reticle, clearly. Uh, and if you get behind them, look, it, it's even easier. So you can put a bit of hurt out there. And at the same time, put a smile on your face. I mean, it put a smile on my face. I, I liked it. I think it's half decent. I don't think it's bad. Um, I know a lot of people are going to be disappointed because it's not broken and it's not OP, but it's not bad either. It's certainly not the worst tank in tier 7. I like it. And that's all I have to say on it, really. I, I like it. It's a nice, funky, little, medium tank in mid-tier. And, you know, it can hold its own against Annihilators, against Smashers. And if you play it right, you'll have fun. As simple as that. So, never knock a freebie. It's going to take you some battles to get those light bulbs, admittedly. But hey, you know, battles are battles. Playing the game for potentially a free tank, what's the problem? And this is freer than the Concept 1B, which is going to cost you a lot more. Because you need those snow globes. Anyway, I've been Fujit. That's been my take on the Sphere, the new Tier 7 medium tank i believe it's a collector but i could be wrong no it's a collector there you go by all means comment and everything below and remember guys till the next time stay safe out there have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking because that's what it's all about having fun being happy